Stan Getz called him the greatest accompanist in the business. He was Charlie Parker and Bud Powell's favorite pianist. Who is Al Haig? Here on Big on Bebop. He was born Alan Warren Haig in Newark, New Jersey on July 19, 1922. He was raised in Nutley, New Jersey, studying the piano and theory as a child. In 1940, he majored in piano at Oberlin College and also studied the harp and clarinet and the saxophone. He played with the Coast Guard bands from 1942 to 44, played around Boston and briefly with the Jerry Wald Orchestra. In 1945, he became very active, playing with most of the early significant bop bands on 52nd Street, including Dizzy Gillespie and Charlie Parker. He played on countless recording sessions, including such classic Parker Gillespie sides as Hot House, Salt Peanuts, and Shaw Enough. In late 1945, he was in California with the Charlie Barnett Band. He also was the Billy Bergs with Parker Gillespie into the early 1946. In the late 40s, he was with Jimmy Dorsey Orchestra, also playing with Ben Webster, Coleman Hawkins, Fats Navarro, Lockjaw Davis. Played with Parker's Quintet for Paris Jazz Festival in 1949. From 1949 to 51, he worked mainly with Stan Getz, then became virtually inactive until 1954 when he joined Chet Baker. Played with Dizzy Gillespie's Big Band from late 1956 into the early 1957 working in Bermuda in 1959. In the 1960s, he lapsed into obscurity, playing in cocktail lounges and clubs around New York City and New Jersey. In 1969, Haig was acquitted of a murder charge. He had been accused of strangling his third wife, Bonnie, at their home in Clifton, New Jersey, on October 9, 1968. He had said in evidence that his wife had been drunk and had died in a fall down a flight of stairs. In the 1970s, he successfully resumed his jazz activities, playing with his own duo at Bradley's in 1973 and then in Europe that same year, appearing in clubs in Paris, Copenhagen, radio broadcasts. He played both solo and with a trio at Gregory's in New York City from 1974 to 75. In 1974, he reunited with Jimmy Rainey for the Carnegie Recital Hall concert. He played with a trio at Sweet Basil in 1975 and in the late 70s made several trips to Europe, playing in England, Paris, Sweden, Belgium, Denmark. He also made several recordings, solo and trio, for Spotlight, Interplay, Choice, and Inner City. Al Haig died from a heart attack on November 16, 1982. Blessed with prodigious technique derived from many years of serious classical study, he executed the blazing tempos of Charlie Parker with an amazing ease. Along with Bud Powell, Al Haig was among the first and the best of the Bach pianists. He quickly adapted to Parker and Gillespie's melodic and harmonic ingenuity to the piano. Al Haig, one of the very first fabulous bebop piano players. (laughs) 